sell what your system would do for the industry if it proves out to be what it, you say it will do is that it'll not only solve the hard water issues, it's going to revolutionize the whole industry. One, one thing that uh, my colleagues and I talk about often is, is how from store to store there's always a problem of, of what has too much carbonation and what doesn't. I just find I like it a certain way the same time every time and it's hard to really get that. We had a guy walk in while we were doing this test that mentioned that fountain drinks are inconsistent everywhere he goes and that he goes to the places that have consistent fountain drinks. So this will bring that in, in line. If you have consistent water, you have consistent beverages. It's nice to know somebody's, you know, trying to make that a little bit better. This is kind of a tedious, time-consuming process, but it's certainly interesting how inconsistent each drink can be, and some of them are more consistent than others. Some of them are way off, and some of them are right on. But nothing is three times consistent so far. And that's at 17, so 12 over on the third, the third one. I found so far that the um, lemonades and the sobeys and the fruit punches are much more drastically off, but nothing's consistent on any of it. The brisk was way off too.